Hello, this is Sarah from Serafina Fiber Art. You can't see me. Um, we have a little informal tutorial to go along with our Fiber Fairy giveaway this week. So we're really excited. Kyla and I spent the day yesterday um, figuring out how we wanted to attempt felting an egg. So we are working over, pardon my reach, uh, little plastic eggs. And one thing that we learned in our experiments was there's a hole at the top of the bottom and you've got the seam. It's good to tape the seam so that your egg doesn't, um, you know, come apart in the center and then it just kind of, here, let me show you on one. Oh, this one's taped. Can you <laughs> grab an untaped one? Hmm. Show you what I'm talking about. And then also, while we're waiting for an egg, they're over here. Um, if you cover the holes, then water won't get into your egg when you wet felt, which is a problem because then it takes forever to dry because there's water that keeps kind of seeping out through these little holes. Ooh, thank you. So they're like this, and then if you're not careful with um, taping that seam, while you're wet felting, it can do that. And then it's just, it's a disaster. Because <laughs> you have no shape. So, this is how we start. I'm trying, um, I've tried regular tape. It works okay. It seemed to still let some water in. This is electrical tape. We'll see how this works today. Um, you could experiment with saran wrap or glue. Um, but this is what, what we're working with. So this is what it looks like after it's felted. I did this one this morning. Kyla did this one yesterday. I did this one yesterday, but I have um, already put the hardener on it. So it's in the process of drying. And the hardener, which we're gonna use, it's called um, Power Pole. We sell it in 250 milliliters in our shop. And what it does is it hardens your felt, your felted wool, so that it looks um, more like a shell. So there's a couple of tricks that I've learned I'm going to try and show you along the way. Here's one that wasn't hardened, I didn't put any hardener on, it's just, um, it's just wet felted, which that's, you know, its own look. Could do that. Or you could just leave it on there and you can just have a wool egg without um, cutting it or having it more be more like an open shell. Okay, so you have your egg and you've taped it closed. I made all these um, bats with some of the colors that are in our Fiber Fairy giveaway this particular week. Um, so I'm going to use this one, which is this. This is the way it turned out felted. And if you're using roving or a bat, it doesn't matter. Um, but what I found works best, rather than using a strip and trying to just wrap the egg, is to lay out um, almost as if you're gonna just wet felt the wool. So I'm pulling thin, consistent, um, bits of wool, kind of handfuls. I'm just grabbing the tips and pulling that out. And then I'm going to do about three really thin layers. So I've done one horizontal. I'm going to go angle this way. And then I'm going to angle this way. Just so that you have a lot of randomness and nothing is all pointing in the same direction. It just gives you a smoother egg when the fibers are a little more random. And then we're going to use the punch tool to start to get this to stick together a little bit. I'm working on this hard foam. It's foam, it's foam insulation from the hardware store. Um, just works, works easier for these big flat, flat pieces. I'm 
And I'll do the other side one more time. Okay. Now I want to take this and since I when I once I start holding my egg, I really want to be able to hold it. So I'm going to go ahead and split it into three or four pieces. And then it helps, we found, to, if you have it, hairspray your egg. I'm going to do it um, off camera so that I'm not getting hairspray on, on everything. Just helps the wool start to stick. So my first one, I'm just going to go around, pull it, give it a little tug, try and keep it snug. Let the fiber follow the contour. And then I'll put one over the bottom and let all the fringy pieces just go where they will. And all the while I'm trying to keep it smooth. I had a little chunk there, so I just pulled it apart. Now I've got a bald spot on the top. So I'm going to get another piece. And little toupee. A little toupee and then just put that on. Now it's loose. I mean it's, you know, it's bubbling, but if you hold on to it tight, you're going to be okay. Then what you do is you take the bottom of a nylon or pantyhose and you slide it onto your hand. And then as much as you can, you wrap your hand around your egg and then pull it into the bottom of that nylon. The nylon just helps hold all the wool in place while you begin to wet felt. Okay, so I've got my egg inside my nylon and I'm gonna get some hot water and just get it wet. I mean, it ends up getting soaked anyway, so but I'm not going to stick it under the running water just to try to prevent water from getting into the actual egg. I'm putting some soap on my hands. It can be Dawn. It can be a glycerin soap. Um, lots of different soaps work. I'm squeezing it at first. You don't want to start rubbing right away because at first you need to start to just get it to come together. So I'm just giving it the little gentle squeeze. And then you can kind of feel it not being as squishy or not having as much space in there. And then that's when you can start to felt it a little bit more. Still start um, kind of gently. And then as minutes go by, you can uh, press a little harder. So I'll probably, I'll work on this just like this, just like I'm doing for about five minutes. You rubbing in a little extra? I am. I am. Make sure it is extra felted. Extra felted excellence. All right, I'm gonna take, well, no, I'm gonna leave it in. I'm gonna leave it in. You can take it out or leave it in, but first I'm gonna do hot. And then I'm going to go cold. And then I'm going to take it out of the nylon so I can, you know, make sure the soap's getting off and see how it looks. Pretty. I don't think I got any water in my egg, so that's good. Nice. That's a condition. Water in your eggs. Nobody wants a watery egg. No. Hot and cold just helps the wool um, firm up a little bit. So just keep going until the soap's out. 
I think it's out. And then I can, um, I can just roll it up in a towel to try to get as much moisture out as possible. Since we were preparing for the class this morning, I was using a blow dryer because um, I needed to hurry things along. But um, otherwise, if, especially if you didn't get water in your egg, it'll just it'll dry pretty quickly. This is the one I just wet felted. This is one that I did this morning. It's more dry, so I'm going to use this to show how to put the power pole on. And then this is one where the power pole is still drying. So it goes on white and then as it dries, it, it clears up. Okay, so it comes um, like this. And just to make it easier, I'm gonna pour a little bit onto this dish. And I'm going to use a paintbrush. If you rinse your paintbrush right away and wash it, it stays, I've been using this for days, and it, it stays good. It doesn't ruin your brush. And then it's kind of like, it's kind of like icing a cake where you want plenty. You don't want to drag a brush with not much um, hardener on it across the wool because it then it, it kind of wants to lift the wool off and it doesn't really soak in. So get plenty and just press it in. So it goes on white. This particular, um, this, what we're offering dries clear. We're also going to, we're gonna do a whole video <laughs> showing all different ways to use the hardener and we're also gonna carry pigment um, so that you could, you could color it if you wanted to. So I'm really pressing it in because what I want is for it to actually go all the way through in this case. And, um, and firm up the inside as well. Do you ever ice a cake and you don't have enough icing on and you drag it across and like all the crumbs come up into your icing? It's like a... I just, I don't even ice the cake, I you, just eat it. You just eat it. Evan doesn't like icing. dump out way more than I need. This um, is non-toxic, no animal, you know, no animal testing, no harm to animals or anything like that. It's very similar to glue, but um, something about the process that they use when they're making it allows it to harden really hard and actually you can leave it outside. Um, you can leave your, it's weather resistant is what I'm trying to say. We used to make these eggs with my grandma where we took yarn or string and wrapped it all around a balloon. And, I, we, and then we hardened it and then you popped the balloon. I think you dip the string in glue as you wrap it. No? Oh yeah, I couldn't remember how we did that. That's what this was reminding me of, my grandma. So at some point, you're going to creep in on your fingers. Try and smooth out any straggly hairs that didn't get felted. And you just got to get your fingers dirty. Your fingers want to like lift the wool up. That's why I try not to get them on there until the very end. I'm probably in my own way. I gotta dump out a tiny bit more. Nope, I'm good. All right, so I'm gonna set this aside to dry. On this egg, it felted well, but I cut the egg um, before 
oh geez, trying to, there we go. <laughs> I cut the egg open while it was like this. So before I put the hardener on. Um, and I can still put hardener on here and firm these up and then kind of recut the edges. But I think it's more successful when you cut it after you've put the hardener on. So that's how this one was done. Although this one's a little deformed because my um, egg collapsed in on itself like I was explaining in the beginning. So this one has had the hardener on for about two hours. It's still drying, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it now and then it can continue to dry. So these, the little snips work well. You might need a um, seam ripper to get it started maybe, but you just, you just gotta get in there somewhere. And then you just run the scissors along the edge of the plastic egg and decide if you want a pattern or, you know, just totally random. If you want it more to the bottom or more to the top. I might be cutting through some of the tape that I used. I'm not sure. Hmm, I'm not sure what it's sticking to. So this one still is a little bit soft. It's still like, cause it's still drying. So I can trim these up, but I like the way it's like real smooth and shiny in there. I can trim these up or off, or I can put a little bit more hardener on from the inside. But this is gonna continue to become clear um, as, it, as it dries. That's crazy how smooth that is in there. So you said thin. If you keep the wool thin, then it. it yeah, like that's why it through. got all the way through. Um, now, what I'd be curious to know, and um, we haven't totally figured out, was if it's if it's all the way hard. Like if it's dried all the way, um, I th I'm pretty sure that the scissors will still snip through it and probably it'll come off a little bit easier. So there's a little bit of fuzz here, which I'm either just gonna trim or, um, you know, trim off. Or I could put it on, like I said, from the inside, I could put a little bit on. But thin, when you make your initial piece and you're putting it around the egg, it needs to be thin but consistent because if you have a hole if you have a, a spot where there's no wool then that's the way it's going to be you know it's um, like that's a little bit of a thin spot right there because you could see my finger through it so but still fun project mm -hmm.